Hello guys, welcome back to another Conan Exiles build video. I know it's been it's been a long time <laughs> since I've done a build video on this game, and I know it's been also a while since I've done the next episode of the Age of Calamitous Let's Play, but um, I got a suggestion from somebody who's been watching the Let's Play recently and my builds as well, um, and they wanted to see me build a stables for their horses and I kind of messed with not for too long kind of a design for a stables it's pretty simple but I think it'll look really nice so I'm also going to take the liberty of also just designing uh, like a base like a house or something that's next to it so I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to design the house and if you want to know where I am right now I thought a good place for this would be an I-4 just because it's along the Noob River and it's not too far away from where horses will spawn which is up here in this area which I usually go and do um, but I, I I think right here is a good spot because this is usually one of the places that I do build starting out and I think for stables even though they come a little bit later because I believe they're tier 2 or tier three. I just think that here in this beginning area, since this is where you do get horses in this noob river area, um, I think it's a good place for us to start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend that we are actually in the beginning of the game and I'm just going to go ahead and build things out of sandstone and build a house out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm just, I haven't really thought of a design for a house in sandstone but I'm just gonna do it anyway I'm just gonna come up with something right off the bat um, and usually what I like to do and I preface this in a lot of videos as I am building these houses what I usually like to do is I take the fence foundations and I use those as the foundations over the regular square or the triangle foundations just because of you know rendering and it it's less taxing on your frames, but I usually use uh, the regular foundations just to create a shape of the house. And then I go on the outside to create the shell with the fence foundations afterwards. So I'm going to start off with just building a square and I need to also give myself a, an ax. Um, I also, I, I have a bunch of mods as well. Um, but I'm not going to be using any of that. We're not going to be using any modded stuff for this build. Um, I need... Here we go. Pickaxe. We're not going to be using any modded stuff for this build. Because it's just going to be very simple and everything. And I don't... You know... If some of you are playing on console that are watching this. Uh, you guys won't really have access to mods. So it's best for me to build with, with things that doesn't really... That's not modded. Um, and some of these, you know, base game stuff as well. Um, the only thing I'm going to be using for the stables is the actual stable building pieces, which you can get from getting Riders of Hyboria, which it's a, it's a nice, I mean, it's a nice building set. I mean, I don't really use it that much, but I think it's, I think it's nice either way. So I'm going to go ahead and just create this kind of shape here. And I'm going to go ahead and just bring this around here like so do this outline and I'm not going to be doing any furnishing for this building this is kind of a placeholder for oh I got my base now now you know everything's set up and now I have to you know go get my horses because I want to be able to travel a little bit faster you know priorities <laughs> priorities people priorities all right so once I create the shell I'm going to dismantle all these regular blocks and I'm going to go in with ceilings this time that is not a ceiling <laughs> here's a ceiling and I'm going to just have them face the same direction just because I like the consistency but I mean with it being a sandstone I mean really if you I mean if you plan on living in the desert in your playthrough that's up to you but I usually go up in the highlands and do that which is another place where horses thrive but I think for the sake of this, it'll be fine with us being in the desert, because this is where obviously everyone usually starts as a as a as a good starting point for people, because it's pretty much just right at the beginning. 
So I'm also going to use these arcane sandstone windows, which can come from a sandstone pack that you can get from the bazaar, which I did get a while back. Um, if you don't have those, you could use the sandstone frames just as fine, but I think for, for this build, I do like the arcane windows just because I think they just, they, they look nicer. They add more details to the, oops, they add more details to the build, so... Um, alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these here, like so, and I don't really know if I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna make this, well, if I do make it two floors, um, I'm gonna make it look a little bit different upstairs, so that way, you know, you guys have, like, a bed, and, you know, for those, like, if you're playing with friends as well, I mean, this is kind of small, but, you know, you have the workbenches downstairs, and then upstairs you have your, you know, your, um, you have, like, your beds and stuff. So, up here, this is where I'm going to put the stairs. And, um, put this up here like so. And then we're just going to come across like this. Now, this is the part where I'm thinking, do I want this to be two floors or just keep it one? And I'm thinking keeping it just one. So the way, so I'm going to do this by taking the thatched sloped roofs like this and close that off and then take these inverted sloping walls. And I, I'm taking the left one so that way it faces out there. And I take the right one and do the opposite with that. So it looks like that and it looks really good on the inside. And on the outside, it just looks like you just put a regular wall there as well. See, look at that. That looks really, really good. Okay. Now, for this part, I'm going to... I'm also going to just close this off like this, but use the corner roofing pieces. And then go and do the same thing with these sloped walls. And sometimes it wants to be a little finicky. You might need to mess with it a couple times, so that way it faces the right direction. And then this side is actually going to have two walls going up. It really, it's going to have three, three walls all together because it's going up one more for the next floor. Um, but after three, then that's going to be it. So we have a window there. And then we put a window. I'll just put the one window right there. And just build this up like so. Just like that. All the way up. Sometimes it wants to face the wrong direction as well. And then we put a window there. And you know what? I'll put a window there too. So I'm going to go ahead and put the ceilings down for the floor that's upstairs. And really you don't have to separate these rooms. Um, since it's not like, you know, The Sims. <laughs> Where I just create, like, a bathroom or something like that. They don't really have bathrooms in this game, so... I mean, unless you get something from the bazaar, because they had, like... Uh, I think it was, like, Aqu Aquilonian uh, bathtub or something like that. But up these stairs, I'm just going to add a door frame. Like that. And this creates, like, a large, a large bedroom, like so. Or what you could do instead is put it like this. And just have a wall right there. So that way it's a little bit smaller here. And you have a bit of a hallway that's there. And now we can close this off with a... With a roof. So I'm just going to go ahead and do all that first. And... The way I want to... I think I'll have... Yeah. Um, sometimes... Can you turn around, please? There we go. Something like that. Get our inverted corners as well on top of that that way it's a smooth type of transition with the roofs and then we do the same thing with the corner here just like so so that way we have both ends like that and really i don't want to use a ceiling for these for the inside part here just because I like having a tall ceiling in the game. Because it just makes sense. Because if you have it one ceiling at a time, it's kind of bad. Kind of bad. It doesn't look, doesn't look good. 
So I'm just going to go in and do all this first. And then get to the point where I do the corner, which is this one? Yes, that one. Like so. And there we go. Look at that. That looks really nice. Look at that. I mean, it's it's tall, but it's functional. Very functional. I've never built something that looks like this before, but I think it looks nice. So I need to put a door in as well, which we could put in that wood door. And then I'm also going to put um, a porch, I guess, which will also be made out of sandstone. Because everything, everything starting out is just going to be made out of sandstone. Sandstone this, sandstone that, you know. Sandstone everything. That's just how the base game works when you're first starting out. <laughs> Unless you have mods, because I, I believe that there are some mods that allow you to have, like, a... Like, certain building materials that are a little bit different. Um, and I'm going to put the stairs on the corner like that, because that's I just like it like that. And I don't think it'll allow me to do... No, I won't. Okay, so then we do fencing here, all around, just like that. And that looks that looks so nice. That looks so good. And I guess for lighting, since I know that some of you guys might want to have lights, I'm just going to put the standing torches, the regular standing torches, around. And that's what I usually use for the beginning when it comes to uh, beginning like my survival playthrough. And I need to put a corner piece right here, like that, and or not my corner, but you know, sloping piece, and then the same up here. So that way we can finish that off there. Yeah, that part doesn't matter. Just like that. So that way you have, you know, everything closed off. And see what I mean by so when I'm out here like this, you guys can see. That when I'm walking around, it's actually really, like, there's a lot of space above my head. And it just looks good this way, you know? I just like it this way. And I think if I back out like this and just move around, yeah. Like, it, it just feels more comfortable like that, having a higher ceiling. And the same goes for here, too, because, like, unless you have maybe a really short character, it's still going to look weird on the camera, unless probably you're first person, it might look a little bit differently. But, you know, it's better to do it that way. And, but that looks really nice. So that's just a basic house. Uh, we need to move on to the stables now. Now there's a way that I've thought about this, and I've thought about adding it as an, an extension from the house. So the way that I've thought about this, um, just at least one entrance that goes into the stables while the actual entrance for the horses, they are a separate one. So we're going to make a little hallway here. And it's not going to be that big. It's probably just going to go two like that. And then I'm going to break that wall and put another doorway right there. And I think, a, you know what? I think a window would be appropriate to be like above that door, like so. Or maybe a window that's up here. That'd probably be better. Just replace it with that. And then, obviously, we have the ceilings here that we just build across. And now, we're going to move on to the stables part. Because stables is what's important here. So, I'm actually going to use the stable foundations. But these are going to be used only for the outer portions of the stables. While the inner portion is going to have, like, hay blocks and... Uh, which you'll see are the ceilings that have hay in them. I'm going to break down this tree because it's in my way. All right. So I'm going to just build one that uh, has enough room for two horses. And you technically have, like with the crafting stations, you have, if I can find it. So um, it is... Ah, oh, here it is, companions. So you have, like, a small animal fan, but you have the stable, which is pretty big. These are for, like, taming the horses, but if we want to build, like, an actual stable. So you can have these as separate. So let's say I want to put this... Let me clear out some trees here on the side. So let's say I want to build... Like, I just want to put a stable down. 
and I just put one right there. So you can have a horse be tamed on that side. And then over here on this side, this is where you actually keep your horses like in a safe place. Oops, I hit the wrong thing. You want to keep your horses in a safe place. So it, this, it's not meant for the taming purposes. It's meant for just storing your horses. And I'm just going to make a big enough plot for the horses. For two horses. For two horses. So we could do something like that. But I'm going to bring it out probably one more. Because I at least want my stables for my horses to be two by two. Which I think is very... Which I think is important. So... We could also use um, fence foundations for these as well. For the outside, so we just have to do the ceilings. And I was thinking to match the stables would be the Nemedian fence foundations. Now, you can continue to use the co uh, not cobblestone, <laughs> say cobblestone, the sandstone foundations as this is like a beginning area, but I guess to match the theme, or at least match, like, wood, since the stables is mainly made out of wood. Um, I'm gonna just use the fence foundations here, and then just finish the... get rid of the outer part here, so we have the shell. So if I go back to stables, we have, you know, this wood here. And I'm just gonna go ahead, and I'm only gonna do two. Two layers like that. And for the, we have hay covered stable ceilings. So not all these are going to be hay. I was just thinking maybe just a few positions like that. And then the other ones are just being filled up with uh, the wood ceilings. So just like that. So I know I have it five wide, which I might need to bring it down one more. Because if I'm making just two stables, I would either need to make them bigger, like, you know, a 2x3 two or a 2x2. Two two. And I was thinking just a 2x2. Two two. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove this. And, oops. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> Alright, get the hay here. And I'm going to make that hay as well. So just like that. And then I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the lattice walls for the back all the way through the back here. Just because I want the horses to have some form of, you know, like I guess air coming through and you know, fresh air coming through the walls and stuff like that. And then we could have I was thinking the stable fences, like so. I mean, usually in stables you'd have the horse is separated by walls, but I think for this, I think it's really cool. And also we could have it out here too for each side. And these are going to be the entrances for that. And the pillars. So let me bring out, yeah, the stable walls like so. And then the actual entrance itself is going to be through here right here. So you could have a ramp that goes down. Now I want to try something because I think these look really cool. These do. And you can have like the doors, like the little doors like that, which I think are pretty cute. Um, but I want to know if I can actually bring a horse there through that because you have the large stable fence gate frame, but it spans so much space. So I'm just like, I'm, I'm not really worried about that. <laughs> We also have the lattice doors, too, which I think look cool, but those would make more sense if I decided to, oops, if I decided to use the lattice door frame, which the horses can't get through. So I want to make it a little more realistic in terms of how they get through. Or I could have it on the side, like, you know, because it spans three, so I have something like this, and then I put the fence gate like that, which that's not bad either. I mean, that's not bad either. I don't mind that it's not symmetrical, honestly. And then the lattice frame, I think that's the only, f yeah. The lattice frame can go here, and then I can have the lattice door. So we could look through before we actually go in. And then I'll just have 
this kind of blocked off like so. And then the rest of, rest of the walls here are just like that. And I want this to be tall enough for the horse's heads to, you know, be able to be above it. So I think what I'll do is I'll bring this up, at least the this section of the stables that high. And then I'm also going to block it off, like close it off like this. Because, you know, I don't want my horses to be caught in the rain and all that. So I want them to make sure that they have shelter from the rain and everything, all that good stuff, you know. It's just it's just better to have it that way. And I'm going to bring it out like this that far. So we're going to put on a roof now. And I think to fit the theme of everything else, I'm just going to use the thatched roofing. Just because I think it's it just makes more sense that way. I think what I'm going to do is have... Let's see if I can... Let's see. Do I want it like that? No. Maybe something like this no that wouldn't no that doesn't work either so i think what i should do is put i can't put a ceiling there that's not going to make sense so if i put a ceiling there and then i do the thatched roof which hopefully it'll stay if i start like this and then i get rid of that okay it does perfect that's actually what i want although i think for this side yeah it's gonna have to be the corner like so so that way the horses can actually get through that just makes more sense i don't think for stables they have the no they don't um that's going to be kind of a nuisance so i might have to use something else to kind of cover this part here with the from the roof so yeah that's going to be kind of annoying but i'll come to that in a second once i get around to completing this part. Let's see. So then I could just use the corner there like so. Because I don't want to have a space where I have to put more of a roof there. So I have to be more careful with the way that I do this. Yeah, see how that space is there? <laughs> Not a big fan of that at all. So that's that's going to be kind of annoying. But the good news is that I can... Yeah, I'll have to figure this out real quick. Let me get the stable walls again. Uh, you know what? I could just do something like that and then just kind of... Maybe on this side it'd probably be better. Or maybe do what I was trying to do originally with the stables instead of that I just have two of these here and just have the wall like that just to make it a little bit easier make it a little bit easier for for the building yeah that might that's probably just better overall so that way I can do something like this maybe although that looks kind of silly too Okay, so I made the stables. It looks a little goofy, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie, because I had to make up. I had to make up for something that you know doesn't really. Because since the stables doesn't have anything like these sloped uh, wall pieces, I just decided to go with the Numidian because I thought that that would match a little bit more, I guess. So, but mostly everything else is the stables, and I put the thatch roofing just to match the house at least a little bit, um, and I need to finish off the thatch roofing by doing this, so that way the hallway is completed. But we need to do a little bit of a test now, because if since we have a stable now, I want to be able to see if I can get the two horses. So we're going to have a black horse and a white horse, and I'm going to put those down. Uh, where are they? There you are. So... So I'm going to put them on the outside first, and then we're going to test to see if they follow me inside, if they're able to, because this is the true test. Yes, they can. All right, perfect. And then I go and place them and have them stand guard in there, just like that. And I think what I could do is, um, for the stable, 
Uh, the last thing I could do is probably put in... Uh, where is it? Uh, am I able to fit that in? No, not this. Um, fit that in there, since they're able to get through that. Um, yeah, so I just put two of these like that. There we go. Just like so. And I think what I could do is for the... I could put a lattice wall. Oh, no way, I could do that? <gasps> That's so cool. Oh, I like that. I didn't know I could do that. Okay, well... Looks like I'm doing that for these walls now. Okay. I don't know if you could do that in the base game because I am using a bunch of mods. So I definitely recommend trying that out. If not, just replace it with the lattice wall and that should be fine. And then we put our little gates here so they can't get through. Just pretending that they, you know, they're able to walk and whatnot. But, you know. <laughs> and then we get our white horse here and we have them follow us inside. And we have them come in here. Are you able to come through the door? Can you come through the door? You can! Perfect. Alright, cool. This is a little bit awkward. But then we can place them there. And look at that! Oh my gosh! And there's our stable. Um, I guess what you could do as well is put the... Put the gates there as well so that way they can't get out. Or so nothing can get in to attack them. Which, with uh, these in place, those will also help. And I think the last thing we could do is put in some lighting. And I know for starting out, you could honestly just make a hanging brazier. It does take iron to do that, but I think it's fine. So, um, maybe not... I think we'll just do it right in the middle here. Like this. So it lights it up a little bit. And then I think for maybe just something smaller... Or I could just do the standing torch, standing torches, probably one in that corner and one in that corner as well. Just like that. That looks good. That looks really good. But I do think, but I do think that that's really nice. I mean, just, just look at that. A nice beginner home. And then a stables on the side. Although the stables looks a little goofy, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I, I don't really build stables <laughs> all that much. But I hope you guys did enjoy that. Um, but if you did enjoy this, uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that. Um, it didn't take that long to build since we're doing this in more of a beginning area. But let me know in the comments down below. Uh, what you thought of this build but not only that let me know what other builds you'd like to see me do and any other suggestions you may have for any conan exiles builds it's really nice being able to do this again but you know i i look forward to your guys' suggestions and things like that and i could probably do better with the stables in another video if you want to see more of that just what other styles i can come up with and probably use more dlc based blocks because, you know, I'm for this, I wanted to feel a little bit more limited. So that way you guys, in the beginning of the game, when you're on Noob River, you guys have access to, you know, more base game stuff as well as the basic things. Except for a couple things I did here and there. But you could just replace them with any anything you want, really. But anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Savvy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. See you later.